Oi, oi, how's it going, guys? Baits are in the water. We've got 46 in the live. Cheers for joining, guys. Wow, jumped up to 90. How's it going, Carl? Jason Orley, how's it going, buddy? Your shoulder's still hurting. Ha <laughs> ha! Want to see some fish? We could catch anything tonight, we don't really know. So hopefully we get lucky. How's it going, Vicky? Brian, how's it going, buddy? Thanks for joining. A tracker south coast tackle tarts how's it going buddy terry how's it going sea eye fishing uh i'm gonna be live for a while josh i'm gonna fish the tide up until my worm uh when well, we run out of worm yeah we can get guilt heads here jason that's why i'm here early all right tony <laughs> That's what we like to hear. I like it. I've got a barbecue with me as well. Nice chilled fishing session. Where are you guys from? Uh, Guernsey Channel Island. Get me a taupe. I'm definitely not going to catch a taupe today. All right, Jamie Baker, how's it going, buddy? Thanks for joining. Good day, Jay. How's it going today? Good, thanks, mate. We've literally only just thrown out a bait, so hopefully as that tide comes up, we get lucky. Oh, sorry to hear that, Jason. Come on, you fish. Good buddy, thanks and you. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. Yeah, really good. I couldn't be bothered. I've been fishing like the last five days with um, ragworm. But I, I'm, I keep catching like little coochers bream and stuff like that. So uh, I thought I'd go live for this one. I'm hoping that we get lucky on this last trip. What rods are you using? I've got the Daiwa Sandstorm, the Daiwa Windcast, and then I've got a Pen Fierce on for a reel, and I've got a, a Pen Fathom 25N. Mexico, nice. I'm not casting far, Jason, only about a 30 yard cast. Come over next year, come. Oh, nice. Where's the best fish from the beach? You can fish anywhere. Any of the beaches, you'll catch bass and stuff, Adam. The lighthouse is good if you want a bit of species. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Come on, I'm feeling lucky. Full of worms. Got loads of worms. Alright Sam, how's it going? I 
I went and dug a load of fresh ragworm. Look at that for bait. Nice big ones as well. Hopefully that gets the trick done today. All right, Matthew, we're fishing for anything. Gilt heads, bass, uh, any of the bream species. Just anything that's around, really. 192. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. Oh, that's a bite. If in doubt, leave it out. 214 in the live. Love that. 63 likes. Hopefully we can get a quick fish. I hope I catch a red mullet, Jason. I'll stick it straight on the barbie. Link for Smashes Murphy. Oh, cheers there, Gunner. Nice one. Come on. Give us a beast. Lovely looking worm. Yeah, it's awesome stuff. Nice big one. Right, Gav B, how's it going, buddy? Still something pecking at that end rod. Smash fishing, the number one fishing channel going. Let's go. Ah, nice one, Timothy. You're a legend, buddy. Thanks for being a member. Give us a big fish straight out the gate, it'll be awesome.
It's a good sign we're getting bites already. 259 in the live. I love that. Back, back home and depressed. <laughs> Nice big ragworm. I'm threading two on a hook, and then I've got a uh, I've got a panel hook as well. Come on, fish. Give us a beast. Hi from, ooh. I'm doing great, thanks David. Thanks for joining. 286 in here, that's mad. Thanks for joining, guys. If everyone could hit the like button, it'd be much appreciated. Hopefully we can get some fish on camera soon. Cheers, Mel. That's not bad, gone on, fair play mate, nice. Thanks everyone for joining, I much appreciated. Love watching you, I love fishing. Haven't been since I moved to Georgia. Oh, interesting. All right, Chrissy McGee. Anyone else from Aussie? Oh, the Aussie gang. Good day, mate. Wow, we've got 300 in here. That's gone up quick. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. Out fishing now in the UK. Nice one. Are you getting much? Oh, shout out Adam Job. What a legend, mate. I appreciate the support. What a diamond. Hopefully I can get a fish for you, my friend. Big up to you, Jay. Looking forward to your next rum session in the shed. <laughs> Maybe on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, we don't get many flounder here. Um, you may catch them on occasion, but very rarely. Shout out to Fleetwood, lads. Cheers, Keith. Oh, shout out Joshua, what a diamond. Cheers for that, buddy. Cheers for the 10 US dollars, you're a diamond. Thanks for that, oh boy. Shout out to Josh, everyone, I appreciate that.
piss on him, though. We got fish on, baby. Fish on. Looks like a coochus. He's well snagged up. Check that out. Oh, shout out to whoever just donated as well. Shout out to Emma. What a diamond. But look how beautiful that fish is, guys. That's called the Kucha Sea Bream. You can tell them by the blue band on the head there, the uh, red and white stripes. Really pretty fish, but not big enough to keep. So there you go. Shout out to Josh again. Thank you guys. You're very supportive. I appreciate that. There you go, Coochers Bream. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna chuck that back now and hopefully the gilt heads turn up. Come on, first fish down. Whoa. I don't wanna hurt him. Nice. Nice. Yeah, small one though. <laughs> That's a good sign though, we've only been here about, what, 25, 17 minutes we've been in the water and we've got one already. Mick Adams, cheers buddy. Love these videos, nearest thing to being out fishing when I'm stuck at home in London. You're a diamond, Mick. I really do appreciate the support, mate. I really fancied a live today, I appreciate it, I really do. Shout out to Indiana Fisher as well. Everyone's going mad. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You alright Kevin Buckler? How's it going buddy? We got some fresh ragworm and we're going after some fish. So what I'm doing, putting two worms on like this. What I'm doing is going down couple of wraps around and then through the worm and you got two hooks so any gilt heads come out and try and eat it we'll catch them Tick the bam, ba bam. Is gilt head uh, the main target tonight? No, uh, I'm I'm after anything. Coochers, gilt head. Um, there's all sorts of species coming off the shore at the moment, so I wouldn't mind anything really. I'm out just for anything. Um, yeah, we nearly got 400 in here. That's crazy. Thanks, guys. Make sure to hit that like button on your way in. I appreciate that. Hi, Emmy. Hope you're doing well. Entertainment sorted. Well, we're going to be live a while. Well, as long as we got enough worms. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm excited. We've got a fish already. Come on. Uh, we've got a few blow log as well. I've kept a few of them. So hopefully between the ragworm and logworm, we can uh, catch some fish. I'll get these out your way. So you've got a nice clear view and we can catch some fish together and hopefully we can cook one. Come on, give me a boost.
Come on, ladies, come on, ladies. One big fish. Big fish. All we need is a big old fish. All right, Paul, thanks for watching, buddy. We've got 400 in here. That's crazy. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Can't believe watching the guy. Nice. You know it's a good night when you're watching a guy fishing and he's got his smash merch on. <laughs> the lucky smash merch. It brings the fish. I'm on one tonight, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Come on, ladies, come on, ladies, one big fish. Give me a big old guilt head in the morning. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, fishies. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know if anyone's seen before, but these ragworm, they have two little pincers, which they'll try and bite you with. I don't know if we can get them to do it. I'll oh, shout out to whoever just donated. What a diamond. But they've got two pincers there that they, uh, they will nip you with. Oh, shout out Josh. I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, cool little worms. Great bait. Right in the kill zone. Oh, give me a stonker. Worm besties. <laughs> Come on, 
Now some of them, they've got proper pincers if they if we would get them out. There you go, look, he's trying to bite my finger. Give us a beast. Back home we call those sandworms. Oh, interesting. All right, bait runners, how's it going? Let it bite your tongue for donations. Nah, I'm all right. I don't do stuff for donations. I might do it for a bit of a laugh after. Cheers, buddy. Got the old tracker. We're getting inquiries.
take fishies. Dee 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 dee. We're gonna run out of worms at this rate. <laughs> Getting loads of taps, 421 in here, that's crazy. Well, you'll get a hell yeah, baby, if I catch a good fish. Getting loads of bites. It's a good sign, hopefully when that night time comes. Can I swing the camera around? I'll show you. This is where I'm fishing. That's it, really. I've got to keep my uh, my phone hidden because it's because um, there's a bit of misty rain. No, I've only got worms today. Ragworm and logworm. That's all I've got. Right, Chris, thanks for joining, buddy. Yeah, I've fished here before, mate. Fished here quite a few times, to be fair. Yeah, there's a lot of bream here, for sure. I've got quite a lot. But you soon start going through it, you know? I just want to rub the scree more. Problem is, all these tiny little cooches and stuff, they strip the baits off so quick. <laughs> Catch and cook. I've got the, uh, I've actually got the barbecue with me. Alright Redneck, how's it going buddy? Thanks for joining. Hope you're doing well. Come on fish.
Where are you at? Uh, I'm in Guernsey Channel Island. Oh, got me twitching. Loads of bites, loads and loads of them. It's little taps though. Come on, you fish. Interesting. Uh, Smash is still kicking. I've actually got a trailer for Smash now. He's going to be out with me soon. Believe it or not, Smash ate stones again. So twice, Smash has had an operation for eating stones. A shout out Anglo-Saxon, what diamond? Cheers, mate. Hello, Smash, just arrived. What are you hoping to catch, mate? We've had one Kuchas Bream so far. Uh, we're hoping to catch anything. Anything that we can eat. I've got a barbie with me, so I'm happy to have a barbecue here. We got 470 in here, that's crazy. Thanks, guys. If you could hit that like button, it'd be much appreciated.
fish on. Oh, we got a bass. <laughs> Oh, Basil Brush makes an appearance. <laughs> I'll shout out whoever just put that fiver in. What a ledge. Ashley Price, bit of fuel smash. You're a legend. Thanks, Ashley. Check that out, guys. Little bass there. Only a little baby thing, about half a pound. But lovely to see. Nice to see all these little, little species coming in, you know. Hopefully, it's a sign of the gilt head coming in. Yeah. And it's gone. Beautiful. So that's one coochus we've had and one bath. Quite happy with that one little bass. The old basil brush. Even blanking is good when you live on Channel Islands. <laughs> I ain't blanking. We got two species, one coochers, one bass. What a beauty. No size to them, but at least we're catching fish. That's all I care about, really. How long are those rods? One's 13 foot, one's 12. hole in the sea. Uh, these are just markers for boats. Yeah, you could use the lure rod here. Definitely. Come on. Oh my God, Joshua, what a legend. Oh my God. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. Wish I was there fishing with you, mate. But now I have to go to work. So wonderful day and good luck. You're an absolute diamond, Joshua. I appreciate the support, mate. Like, real, hats off to you, mate. I appreciate that. Come on, you fish, give us some more. It's all about them fish. Much support from these. Nice, cheers, mate.
bam, bam, bam. Another fish bites the dust. Ah. We got 530 in here. That's crazy. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. I appreciate it. So there we go. A very pretty little ballon ras there. Awesome little fish. Cool to see. Rassing fantastic. A good old head hook ragworm, you can't go wrong. Bring on those monsters. Alright, Stephen, thanks for joining, bud. Can't beat the head hooked ragworm, guys. What it's all about. Come on, fishies. Come on, fishies. One big fish. One big fish. We. We're on a roll. We've had brass, bass, and coochers bream now. Nice, squid on a live bait. That's awesome, mate. Come on. I had a hook in my nail, it really hurt. Sissy. <laughs> Come 
Come on, you fish. They're getting there. They're getting loads of tappy little bites. We're getting constant little bites at the moment. Just little tappy bites. All of that is, is the little cooch bream and stuff like that. Those little tappy bites. It's all cooch bream. And we hope there's a big gilt head. Yeah, I do test the uh, hooks as I go. It's quite rocky around here, so you do snag them. Is that a fish? What is that? We got a fish. I think it's a fish. Is that a fish? Yeah, it is a fish. There we go. Another little wrasse there, Ballon Ras. Beautiful little fish, check that out. <laughs> I love the colors on these things.
I've just dropped my hook size. Good little tip that if you're getting loads of little bites guys drop your hook size because you might catch a big red mullet or something so i've gone from a 3-0 hook down to a size one so if the little fish start pecking at it we can see what they are that's the idea fort and blues i haven't seen you do anything wrong bud Dee dee dee. 534 in here that's crazy 406 likes that's mad thanks guys i appreciate it <laughs> nice one good times oh, oh yeah i've uh i'm really sorry i forgot to send the giveaway prizes off i've been so busy lately i've, I've just been flat out so uh, I'm going to get them sent first thing tomorrow for you, mate. I I've totally forgot. I do apologise. Same as the Orma shells as well. I've still got to send them. So yeah, I do apologise. But um, yeah, I've just been very busy. Come on, give me a red mullet, nice big one. When are you gonna do another lobster trip with your dad? My dad's boat's uh, got a few bits wrong with it at the moment, so he needs to bring it up. Fishing comes first, uh, cheers, good times. It's not just that, it's family stuff as well. Uh, Cause Smash had to go for another operation cause he swallowed stones. So uh, I tell you, that dog's cost me five grand in four months. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, luckily, I've got a, uh, I've got insurance. Do you need a permit to go foraging? Not in Guernsey. You don't need a permit to go fishing or foraging over here. That's what rum does to your head. <laughs> the rum is is good for my head. Do you need a license to fish from the shore? Nope, not in Guernsey. Come on, fish. I'm sorry if I'm constantly back and forth, guys. I've got to, I've got to watch the rods. Come on, little sparkle. <laughs> yeah, I love my dog, mate. But yeah, God. Oh, mate. I hope he's right. He's fine now. He's fine, but um, he's a uh, he's been a pain. Where did you learn all the knowledge you got from fish and plants? Uh, from books, my dad growing up, all that. You just build up your knowledge as you go along, you know. Come on, give me a big fish. Awesome, mate. What are you targeting? We're targeting anything. We've had bass so far, we've had wrasse and coochers bream. Hoping for a red mullet. That'd be nice. We nearly got 600 in here. That's crazy. Everyone smash that like button. See if we can get it up to 1,000. That'd be crazy. Come on. What's 5,000 compared to a life friend? Nothing, mate, nothing. I love my dog to bits, mate. I've even got a trailer for my bike now to take him out. So when he's feeling a bit better, he's gonna start coming out fishing with me. I can't wait to have him. That's the whole reason we got Smash, is to be a companion when I'm out. 
The beard is looking nice, the ginger beard. <laughs> uh, occasionally, Kevin. Luxembourg, shout out Luxembourg. Yeah, smash. Smash merch link. Get your smash merch. I love it. <laughs> Missed that one. Smash fishing, baby. 600 in the live. <laughs> Uh, I could do, but the amount of bites we get here is, there's no point having bite alarms and stuff. You're better off just watching. So there you go, little size, one hook, couple of ragworm, job done. Come on fishies, come on fishies. See the rod tips all right guys? 609 people in here, nearly 500 likes, that's crazy. Horace Camp, how's it going buddy? Uh, yeah, we've had bass, coochers, bream and wrasse so far. We could get anything as the, dot, as the night time comes. We could literally catch anything off here. Shout out to Luke.
come on fishies, come on fishies. What have we got this time? It's bread. There we go. Another very pretty. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. The Cooch's Bream. Beautiful fish, really pretty. And that's what, that's why I dropped to the smaller hook. Ow, oh, spy me, you little, you little toe rag. Yeah, I can tell you now, you're a toe rag. There you go. Whoa. Ah! Just stay still, man. I'm gonna put you back. But there you go. Beautiful fish. They're so pretty. Straight off. Beautiful little baits on a Wednesday night. Do -do -do -do. So that's two coochies now. 
Come on, fishies. We got bites straight away. Come on fishy, come on fishy. Look at that, I lost me up. <laughs> Come on, you big red marlin. Oh hell, as soon as it hits the bottom. Hey Rach, how's it going? Nice to see you in here. Woohoo, top channel, top support, you're a legend.
I'm dropping both hook sizes now. I'm gonna go size one on both. Mainly because I reckon there could be some gilt, uh, some gilt heads, some red mullet around. So I'm gonna try and catch them. It saves a bit of bait as well. We're going to run out of bait really quickly if I uh, if I keep using the free O's with loads of worm on. Come on fishies, come on fishies. One big fish. Hope you're doing well there, Rach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see where you were live because you went live when I started mine. I seen you go out. I seen your bag. I didn't. See, I seen the bag when I went out, but I didn't see you. Oh, what? Lose a little fish, eh? Mm. Just want a red mullet so I can stick it on the barbie. <laughs> Oh, but this is my chance here, eh? Only problem is those rocks on the side, though. Yeah. All about those dinky dicks. I've had to downscale my uh, hooks because I'm running out of rag so quick. I was using 3 0 and putting like four on for a guilt. I was like, no. Nah. Because I'm going to end them on. End my life in now. Five hundred and seventy-seven still in the live. Nice one, guys. Come on, you red. Give me a red. What we'll found it? Get much in the pots. Huh? No peepers at all. Fifteen pots. It's not hard, eh? Four little lobsters. <laughs> right, Kevin, how's it going? Thanks for joining, bud. We've had a couple of coochers so far, one bass and a couple of rats. How big is the bat? Only about half a pound, little tiny thing. It, it is relaxing MS. That's why I thought I'd go live today, just a little bit of a relaxing fishing sesh. I appreciate you all joining. All right, Dyslexic Angler, we've had two cooches, two rass, and I think it's two rass, and uh, one bass so far. Sorry? It is, eh? 
good. Oh, that was um. Two-banded Seabury! Yeah. I'm surprised you're the only one here. I oh, know. I was here early though. Afterwards. I was there well early, mate. You can see where they are. <laughs> it's like that all night, there's a little tiny, tiny cat. It's on, I believe. What we got tonight? Another cutie. Another little cooches. Stay. Not very colourful that one. <laughs> Where's the earth? The only problem, eh? Oh yeah, swallow it, eh? There we go guys, another little Kucha sea bream. Beautiful little fish, but not the size we need. It's gonna be a floater. Just a little wheel rattle there. It's where they all are though, right in line with that pier there. I had that two banded right in the middle. Yeah? Right in the middle. I did an almighty cast, sport my reel right in the middle, back. <laughs> Straight away though. Like. Nice, 630 in here, that's awesome. Thanks for joining guys. You have a rod, you have a rod. He's there. He's biting my boy. 
Oh, he got him. In the face. Oh, I hope so. Fish yeah, on. He got a fish on. Not a fish. You beauty. So much small fish around though, eh? That's the thing. Yeah. But it's good fun. Yeah. That's it. I, I just wanted a little fishing trip today. I was like, bugger filming. I just wanted to go. That's what I liked it. about because I've got my vid I've got my video coming out tomorrow with that two bandage. Yeah, yeah. And like just the oh, six come off. Is it? No. Sure it's not a little bass? No, I do. Oh well. I thought you had been I was reading him in, he was fighting. It felt a little bit heavier. But probably another future's there. I find once the dark settles in around here, that's when you start getting a lot of the blacks for some reason. Alright. A bit more confident man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. See the water. Come on, you fish. Oh, cheers, Gary. I appreciate you commenting, mate. Nice. Come on, give me a beast. Give me old flick. <laughs> Come on, fishy, come on, fishy. Oh, I'll leave you to it anyway. No worries, mate. Good luck. <laughs> Gonna need it. Gonna <laughs> need it. Fish first. Ah, yeah. Catch you in a bit, eh? Catch you later, mate. They're stripping the baits off tonight, that's for sure.
This is non-stop cast and retrieve right now. <laughs> The very wet, rare weed fish. Come on, you fish. Uh, we don't need the pendulum cast in Guernsey. We don't need to cast for. You'll cast straight over them. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm feeling the bass. Come on. Oh, yeah, bass. We will see. Sun's going down. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I did a super chat, but somehow it didn't show up. That's weird. Fish on.
It's another coochie. <laughs> There you go guys, look at that. Another Cooch's Bream, another little baby one. Oh yeah. Come on you red mullet. Lady nearly run me over. Look at the colours on that one. That's a pretty old cooch is that one. Awesome little fish.
There you go. Another lovely little Cooter's Bream. All right, lads. How's it going? You had any fun? Uh, yeah, I was Yeah, sure, mate. Have you got a pen? Yeah, right here. Yeah, it's down, mate. Yeah, it's down, mate. Oh, what picture is it? I got a ragworm, mate. Yeah, I think me and my dad told me when we were doing all this. Down there, the lockers. Alright, bud. Yeah. Which way do you want it? That way or that way? Uh, that would be just Alright, boss. Thank you. Happy days, there's your so pen much. back, alright? Good luck, Happy lads, eh? Yeah, what bait are you using? Uh, rag ragworm. Ragworm, yeah? And we've also got all my Nice, hopefully you catch a monster then, eh? Hopefully. <laughs> good night, good <laughs> and you, mate, good luck, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I love seeing that. That's what it's all about right there, guys. The future generation. Come on, fishies, come on, fishies. I love seeing that, little nippers like that. <laughs> hey, <it's> an... <laughs> I love it. See if we can see some bigger fish. <laughs> True. Wow. again. He's still there? Fish on. Yeah. <sighs> 
So, we got a pelt. And we got a cooter's bream. <laughs> There you go guys, you've seen a lot of these tonight. Kucha's bream. And right there, a little pelting. Nice species. Whoops. Nice species tonight. Love to see that. We're catching the fish. Come on fishies, come on fishies. We're catching loads tonight, <laughs> I love it. Wow, there's been fish after fish. Soon be Christmas, it ain't gonna be long. Catch and cook a bass, if we get one big enough. What rig are you using? Just a poly rig, uh, a poly rig, a running ledger rig, sorry. Just with a, a very small trace, 30 pound trace, and a size one hook. 600 still in the live, that's crazy. I appreciate the support, guys. Hopefully we can get some more fish. Nice. It's all about the fish. If you want any merch, guys, one of the mods will leave it in the uh, in the comments if you wanted any. Sneaky little plug. <laughs> Come on fishies, come on fishies, one big
What a lovely night. You'd, you'd probably get a conger here, but it'll be few and far between. The other side of this bay you will, for sure. There's a lot more rocky outcrops. Come on, fish. Oh, nice one, Pat. You're a legend. Come on, fishies. It's a good time of night for a red mullet. That's what I really want. I want a nice red mullet so then I can stick it on the barbie. Veronica, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Dogfish, you'll get dogfish here, but not many of them. It's more like Cooch's bream, gilt eds, black bream, bass, pelt, like all of the bream species you get here. Come on, fishy. I don't know where that came from. It's stuck in my head. <laughs> Come on, fishy. All right, Brendan, how's it going, buddy? Thanks for joining. We've maintained a lot in this live tonight. I appreciate the support. I really do. Be nice if we can get some nice fish though. We've had some, we've had, I don't know how many coochers we've had now. I've lost track. <laughs> you right, Mitch? Shout out to Florida. Dee -dee 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 -dee. How big did the coochers get over there? Uh, the coochers bream record is nine pounds. So they get big. <laughs> Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Good support for a good person smash. You're a legend, Ben. I appreciate it, mate. I, speak, I appreciate all the support. I didn't think this live was going to do so well tonight. I was just out for a bit of fun fishing. You guys seem to enjoy it. I appreciate that. Come on, give me some bites. One pound fish, that's all I've caught today is one pound fish. Another fish on. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Ow, you little toe rag. Ow.
There we go. Another coochie, a little bit bigger, but uh, not keepable yet. Nice size though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shout out whoever just donated. 15 quid as well. Avaki Gore. Hope you're having fun, mate. Oh, I'm having a blast, mate. You're an absolute diamond. What an absolute legend, man. 15 quid. <laughs> Happy days, mate. I hope you're enjoying the live. This one's for you, mate. I'm gonna put a nice big ragworm on, just for you. There you go, my friend. This is your ragworm. Come on, my fishy friend. We got a rare Cooch's weed fish again. Crazy, man. We've had so much fish tonight, but just nothing to keep. Oh, Mr. Gore, you're a legend, mate. Live is great, man. Really needed to relax tonight. Appreciate everything you do. I appreciate you, my friend. All of it goes a long way. I really do appreciate it. Huh? Hopefully on your ragworm, we can get a nice big fish. <laughs> you're a diamond. Let's go. Big fish, come on. I'm out of breath reeling up the rods every five minutes. Nothing but lovely people in the live today. I really do appreciate the support. It's awesome. Lovely to see. Can you see the rods all right, guys? If I do that, I might see them better. Dee dee dee. Dee 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 dee. What's the legal size for weed fish? Loving your boat fishing videos, mate. Cheers, Kevin. I appreciate that, mate. Uh, we just haven't had the weather for me to go out and do what I want to properly yet, so. Uh... As soon as the weather's good, then I'm planning to go out and target tope, ray, and stuff like that. And obviously the congas and stuff. 
See, I've got lots to come on the boat. I just need the weather to do it. Nothing big yet, Dino. We've had we've had loads of fish. We've had bass, um, bass, cooches, uh, wrasse and pelt so far, but we just haven't had nothing keepable. See you later, I'll take it easy, buddy. You right, Manda? Hope you're doing well. Conga vids are amazing smash. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing the uh, the shore fishing for congas now because the spider crabs are leaving. So uh, I will be doing conga videos soon. Smash them, baby. Hope I don't. You ain't done nothing wrong, mate. Uh, the dog's fine. Uh, only problem is he's a bit of an idiot and he ate stones again, so we had to have an oper another operation. But um, yeah, he's fine. He's back on the men. Go on, buddy. Hey? Oh, you're a legend. What you got? What oh, was it? Yeah. You're not using it? I've got a load of Oh, right sound. Just in case you want it. Oh, come on, Andy. I'm on the dregs, mate. Look. Oh, cheers for that, mate. Shout out to Ryan. He just got me some, uh, some nice frozen black lugs there. Eh? We're running out of baits. That's handy. Been up too much? I thought I'd pop down and watch the live. Oh, yeah. Loads of fish. They're just small, though. Yeah. Good fun. Yeah. I want a red mullet, though. <laughs> uh, you should be able to get them. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're, we've been getting them all over, eh? I've been out the last five days, mate, but I'm catching red mullet as big. Yeah. <laughs> little tiny thing. I went out last night and catched up what creatures three, three dream, that was it. Yeah, yeah. They're just, they strip the bait so quick, eh? That's what I thought I, I just... I thought you were struggling with bait, so I thought I'd come down. Yeah, I appreciate that, mate. It's happy days. You've got loads of them live, I thought. As soon as you run out of bait, you were like... Oh, oh it would be over, mate, yeah. Black log, I thought. Dead man black log, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you'll catch on that, eh? Oh, I appreciate that. That's sound, mate. That's right. You carry on what you're doing. I'll let you come down for a walk. Look at you. Yeah, smash that stones again, didn't he? Oh. Just as I was getting him right again, eh? He'd done it again. So what I did is I dug the whole garden out, I cemented it all, and I stuck stones in it. So you can never get a stone again, but they're in the floor. <laughs> yeah. That dog, what are you gonna do with him? Oh no, he's 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 one of the nicest dogs going. But um left there, right hand dog. Oh right. He's one of the nicest dogs going, friendly with other dogs, everything. Yeah, great with kids. Just an idiot. Just an idiot, mate. But, um, but yeah, like that stone, like even I take him down the beach all the time. Won't touch a stone. It's when he's at home and he's a bit bored yeah. digging in the garden, you know? He's probably, you know, at the beach, he's, like, he's, like, he's occupied. Yeah, and I'm training him all the time, eh? Yeah. So, yeah. So it is what it is, eh? Five grand, though. Five grand. Good job, eh? I say, good job you're in short. Well, that's it. Well, <laughs> well, my excess is gone, eh? Oh, yeah, true. It's only four grand of, of what we're allowed for the year, eh? That pay a grand of it. Fine. At least he's healthy, you know what I mean? He's good, but yeah. it's the last thing I wanted, man. I come back from fishing at three in the morning, he was laying on the floor. I was like, oh god, not again. Dirty dog. Yeah. But yeah, he's, but one, he's one of the nicest dogs going, man. But because he's yeah. one of the family, you do it, you get him, you're taking to the vet. Oh yeah, I'm not giving up on him, that's for sure. He's just got to learn. Eh? Yeah, he's like one of the kids, eh? They look, they look, they get. They do mistakes and that, they're seeing yeah. them. That's it. That's the thing is like, because he's, he's only 10 months old, eh? Yeah. So like, he's still, he's still in that poppy stage. 
What time is high tide? That's 10. 11, I think. Yeah. What time is it now? What time? 10 to 10. Oh, all right. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm glad you brought that back. Yeah, I see, I'm not doing nothing, mate. I'm at home just watching you, watching the, watching the live. I might just watch it in real life, eh? Oh, yeah. Down the road. That's it, eh? That live's gone well, mate. Maintained quite a lot, innit? Yeah. Just 600, 600 feet. Mm. Okay. And got, it was nice to see that, the young kids down there. Yeah, the, yeah, they come up. Yeah, an autograph. And yeah, then, love that. They're getting to that stage now. I'm getting to superstar them. <laughs> Super smash. I'm, I'm still a freaking rebel. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it happens quite a lot now, man. I'm used to it, like... Especially if I go to town or something. Yeah. If you come down, down here again, I'll bring my rod. I've got loads of... I've got loads of... Uh, Log it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can give you a text, mate. I'll give you my bloody number. I'll give you it on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind coming out of an evening. Just down the road. Yeah, it's good fun, eh? I see that tides will come up a lot. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm hoping for like a sneaky guilt head or something, you know? I've had a, I've had a four pound battery. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. I know a few lads that have had like really big guilt heads here. But on a whole squid. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Hope you catch your target species, bruv. Tight lines, fish on, smash fishing, baby. Woohoo! You're a legend, Richard. Thank you very much for that, buddy. Hopefully we can get some fish for you. Whoa. Yeah, I've been fishing flat out lately trying to make videos, but I've just been catching so much small stuff. I was like, it's not worth, it's not worthy of a no. video, you know? There's not a lot around. Well, yeah. there's not a lot of big stuff around. That's it. There's like, there's tons of fish, eh? But there's just, no, yeah, nothing big. And I've got the wrong size hooks on because I'm, I've got a free out expecting something decent. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're just yeah. nibbling and taking the bait. So. Yeah, stripped. They're getting loads of guilt heads at the moment, eh? Yeah. All over as well. You know that place um, opposite uh, Woody's? Yeah, yeah. That big bit. I've got four uh, guilt heads there. Nice. They're getting loads on the west coast as well, eh? Yeah. Like all over the west coast as well, like mm. hearing people catching left, right, and centre. Yeah, opposite that. So opposite that Woody's place. Yeah. Well, I caught my biggest bass and the biggest deal. I remember, I remember when you caught them, you texted me, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice one, that, mate. It's too good. Double, that double strike bass. Yeah, uh, that'd be cool. Bream size. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the two banded bream. Yeah. Cool, eh? Keep it this time, mate. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, big chunky rag on. We're going for the big ragworm. You don't have to be so uh, skimpy on your bait now, you've got some more. Yeah, that's it. Nah, mate, you're a star for that. That's right, I was going to bring some squid, but I thought you're not really, you're going for the red mullet, so. Yeah. It's only because I brought the barbie, like, I was yeah. like, you know, I got a red mullet. Makes a nice live, eh? Doing like a little bit of a cook-up. Right, yeah. One fish I never tried. No? No. Best, oh, mate, best eating fish in the sea. Never cooked, but I've caught one. I think I've caught one once, but I put it back. Sorry? So I've caught one before, but I've never, I, I put it back. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought... Too small, but they're not a big fish. Legal size limit's 150 mil, eh? It's yeah. probably in size, then. Oh, no, mate, the size limit's tiny, you know? They reckon, like, a pound's a good one. Yeah, a pound's a good eater. You been foraging on the low tide? Nah, the tides weren't big enough. No. I, I only forage if it's a one four or lower. Yeah. Like all of these tides have been two metres, eh? Yeah, I thought you might not have got a bait for that. For the lobsters or anything. Yeah, right, unless it's, I'd like to say, unless it's a 1.4 or lower, I, I just don't bother anymore. Right. It's a PB weed fish right there. That's what you want. It's a rare specimen. 
British record. British record weed fish. Catch and cook. <laughs> Catch and cook. <laughs> Yeah, she's quite good for bass here. Yeah, I had a little one before, but like half a pound, you know? Yeah, so the ones I have caught, I think I've caught about two or three here. But that's over a long period of time. Yeah, yeah. So I used to fish here, but uh, on the rock down there. Yeah, it's good at. It's good if you can get down there on the tide. Yeah. And fish it up. Yeah. And then you have to jump off again, but. Yeah, but you can get some good fishing out there. It's oh, straight yeah, on the yeah. sand, eh? Well, there's, there's, a, there's a razor bed there as well, eh? Yeah, yeah. So, it's, I reckon it'd be good for gillhead down there. Yeah, for sure, mate. Or black rock. If you can get onto it. Yeah. It's just a shame from here, it's so hard to get onto the sand. Oh yeah. It's not, it's not too bad, I find it's the sand's just back from that end of there. Yeah. So it's not too too. It's like I've I've snagged up a couple of times today, but not nothing bad, you know, I just pulled the hooks out. Yeah. But you need a mega cast and you need a mega cast. Oh, you? to hit the main bit, yeah. Still got 509 in here, guys. Thanks for joining. Love it. Fishing slowed down a little bit, but you never know when you're going to get that red mullet. It's not even high tide yet. Unfortunately, where they're fishing is just boulders. Yeah. I reckon it'll be snagged up. Yeah, I've, I know a couple of lads that get gilt head out of there, but like, you lose just as so much tackle as you bring back in, eh? Yeah. It's crazy. I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of losing tackle. <laughs> no. Getting some good vibrations on your left hand. It's only just dropped in the water. Come on. Give me a red. Nice big red. Hello Scott Harris, how's it going buddy? Nice. Just like the gilt head, they're, yeah, very, tappy, thick, tappy, they're yeah. very finicky. Yeah. Come on, you 
fish. Come on. Yeah. Donna Marie Johnson, you're a legend. Level one smash fam. I <laughs> appreciate the support. I'm going to be doing a giveaway on the members soon. Again. <laughs> Loads of little tappy bites, but just nothing big enough. You're waiting. You're waiting, Kev. <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice. I'd be happy just with a pound red mullet. Yeah. <laughs> well, so cheers, cheers, Scott. A bit of smash merch. I reckon he's got my bait up. Possibly. He was tapping away for all. Lovely evening now. Oh, it's lovely, eh? That's what I was like. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna go dig some bait and just go fishing live instead of like all the fuss with the video, you know? All right. Nice just to relax sometimes. You must, you must want to get a break from editing that. Yeah. Oh. Something there. Is it? Yeah. Hey, you got little pooches. <laughs> Didn't even know it was on. Oh, no. Oh, he's all right. I did have a coochers, but now he's gone. <laughs> Come here. The stretchy worm. Crazy to think they got up to nine pounds, eh? Oh, it's mad, eh? I'll be happy with one too. I've never caught a decent one. No, my biggest is two pound four. Dan's had them six pound eight, eh? Off the boat. Yeah, I think in the boat, on the boat, there's probably a better chance. Yeah. Of, you know, to score. Yeah, the big ones, they just don't come close enough, eh? But the gilt eggs seem to be more of a shortage, though. So. Yeah. They're getting bigger, eh? Yeah, I think in uh, Portugal, I think it is, or Spain. They got to 15. 15 pounders, yeah, yeah. They use the uh, the blue crabs, they peel a crab. Yeah. Imagine a 15 pound more over. Oh, it? mate. Bloody rod would be screaming off, eh? <laughs> it was hard fighting a four pounder. Definitely. <laughs> Unless it's a big soul, that'd be nice. <laughs> no harm in wishful thinking, yeah. eh? Big turbot. Yeah. I was surprised to get that turbot foraging, though. Yeah. Don't find that often. Nah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Amazing what you find, you find uh, foraging. Oh, it's crazy, mate. Thing is, I've got the spots where I know to look, eh? Yeah. I tell you what, you want to be better, better off going with your uh, your net to catch bass than you are with your rod. Oh, for sure. Thing is, I don't fish for bass anymore, eh? But no. I do, but off camera. It's funny that because when I started watching your your channel, all it was was bass fishing. Yeah, it's because I got bored of it. I made like 40 bass videos in a row, eh? Mm. I was like, oh, I can't be bothered anymore. Well, I suppose if I, I want my bass fix on there, Kelsey does it, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's it, eh? He makes good content as well. 
Soon. Last resort. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little bit of blow lug as well. It's like about five pieces. Can't be fresh uh, rag though. Oh no. Killer, eh? This one? Yeah, it's slapped on. I've only just cast it. <laughs> I thought the line was slapped. when you get a predicament when both rods are going away. Yeah. Which one do I take off? It's been non-stop the whole time I've been here, just constant rebate, yeah. cast out, rebate. So sometimes it's a bit hectic, eh? Oh yeah. I was tempted to drop them on rod before. I always think more rods you've got in the better. Really. Oh, that's it, eh? There's a guy along the front the other day, he had five out. Is it? Yeah. yeah. One bloke, five rods. No, are they? Yeah, I've definitely a fast boy that was. No messing that one. <laughs> Shame he didn't look himself, eh? Oh, he's off again. Yeah. I've had a conga from here before. Yeah. Surprisingly. You get the whips and that, eh? Yeah, it's like <laughs> a tiny conga, like a small whip. Yeah. The mm. other side is better. I've had hustle for the other side. 
to stop the boulders there, you know? Yeah. All right, let's try a lucky black lug. Is it going to be the one that gets the gilt head? Nice old black know. lug worm. Courtesy of Nick's fishing supplies. <laughs> Courtesy of Ryan Duckworth. Black lug. The old black lug worm. That big stinky juicy bait. You want a fish to get the gilt head now? <laughs> funny, to, funny to tell you that, I caught my last gilt head in the log room. Sorry? Caught my last gilt head in the log room. Oh yeah. When you open them up, it's fascinating what they eat. Oh yeah, winkles a winkles. lot of them, eh? Yeah, winkles a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the ones that I've caught have been all winkles. Shout out Harry, age nine. You're a legend, mate. Thanks for watching. jumped out the water before down there. Came to a bit of mullet or something, it was quite big. When I threw a coochie's back and all I seen was it just come straight out the water like. It was a part of your back. Could be. Oh, load. I must have had more than 10 now. I reckon you're on about 8. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go, guys. Little Gucci's Bream. We're getting loads of these tonight, that's for sure. It's good to see, uh, good to see all the baby ones. That's what well, yeah, that's it, mate. Just want the bigger ones. Never known so many cooches to be around. I was surprised about in the boat and they're doing us. Yeah, that doing I was right on like where the reef ends near the uh, the waste water out there. Yeah. I went about half a mile up onto the sand where the bottom of the Grand Bank is. Yeah. Mate, there was loads. There was every drop we were getting them all the way. Never seen so many on a trip. You might get one on a trip, like, well, you know, one on a trip, but not have one after the other like that. I'm going out after the top gurney soon. Well, they're pretty fish then. I want to get a big one. Because they, they grow bigger, eh? Like five or six pounders, I think. So I'm going to steam out 10 miles, go wrecking, and then go Probably after them. Probably one of the prettiest fish in our sea. Oh, for sure. Nice. Master baiters. <laughs> <laughs> No. Good luck, I need to stock up on hoss bait tomorrow, nice one. Hopefully you do well on your hoss baits, mate. Shout out William, he's 10 tomorrow. Happy birthday, William. The floor creaked. <laughs> it's all about a laugh, eh? Still got 430 people in here. Man. Good life. Is it? Nice. 
Fact that I've got enough bait to fish over high water, and that's about it. Perfect time, really, because the red monitor usually come out just after high water. So yeah, I'd say about half an hour after five, pretty much goes dead in here. Yeah, well, so it's actually in there though. Uh, Dano finds that he gets them half tied down. Does it? Yeah, but no bream, nothing like that. He just gets the red mullet. Really weird, eh? He had one not long ago, like, pretty decent one, about a pound, pound and a quarter. See, I don't really know what kind of ground red mullet go on. Sand. Because they predominantly um, worm. So they're always over the worm. The yeah, yeah, literally, like, they got the barbels, eh? Yeah. And then they just go along the bottom, scent out the worms and dig them up. smash a halty instead of using the collar. Right. What a difference, man. <laughs> like that one finger, eh? Yeah. Just, as soon as he gets to the end of the lead, turns around. Oh, I couldn't believe it, mate. So I spend hours and hours, like, every day, hours and hours, just training him with the lead, eh? Yeah. But if he sees a dog or anything, he's mental. He just wants to go and see it and say hello, eh? So, like, and I always felt bad, because it's on his throat, like, you know? Yeah. And now, because I've got a halty, it's over the nose and behind the ears, so it turns his head. Oh, it's brilliant, mate. Oh, I'd recommend you, them to anyone. Have you found anything that you can chew on? What do you mean? Like, he destroys things like chewing. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, he's chewed like, like the carpet, the sofa, bloody, all that. Like, fish penis or something. Oh, yeah, I give him, yeah, yeah a cow pizzle. An antler. Yeah, yeah. We give, I give him, uh, what else, well, lamb trachea. Um, only stuff that's like really good vitamins for him. Yeah. Um, we give him, what else we give him? Uh, bullhorn. Oh, he, yeah. he chews on a bullhorn for hours, man. Yeah, he wants something long last. Eh? Yeah, well, I say long last. That's a half hour, That's hour bad. mass, mate. He's a, he's a beast. Pig deer probably lasts about 10 minutes. I don't give him them, because I found they, they give him diarrhea. Hmm. Weird, yeah. Same as um, the rabbit ears. Oh, right. Dried rabbit ears. They're really good for dogs because they've got the fur on. Good for their guts, but it's not good for his. He gets the shit every time we give him one. No, I think I wake up in the morning, it's in the room, eh? <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? Like, he's, 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 that? he's that smell? Yeah, he doesn't usually crap in the house anymore, like, at all, you know what I mean? But if he's got the shit, like, he's got no choice. <laughs> yeah. Nothing worse, even as humans, eh? Oh, no. no. Yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go, eh? Simple yeah. as that. Come on, fish. I'll just move this over here so you can see the rods a bit better, guys. I'm from a time where toilets on site weren't really necessary. Is it? Dig a hole. Painting. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> you suck. Even out the boat, mate. I'm bloody there on a bucket, eh? <laughs> I'm out for like 12 hours sometimes, 10, 12 hours, mate. <laughs> but I ain't no toilets. I don't ask Dano what he does. I don't think he poops. Shit over the side, eh? Yeah, so there's no one's there. Yeah, that's what I do, just get a bucket out, wash it out. Got a what, toilet roll on the boat. What's got sand with you? Eh? What's got sand with you? You can look away, eh? Oh, please. <laughs> I don't care, at the end of the day, we all shit, eh? Yeah, it is. Make sure you do it downwind. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm good fun on the boat. It's a nice boat, though. It's a lovely boat, mate. It's fast for an orkney. Alone, with the anchor off the boat, I do 25 knots in it. Bloody fast, man. For an Orkney, anyway, they only usually go about 19, 20. This thing, mate, is straight on top of the plane. <laughs> Gone. But um, I don't do that fast all the time, because it's bloody uncomfortable. You don't need to go that fast, don't you? 20 knots is enough. Cause it, get, it hurts my spine. Mm. For like, da 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 But for like 10 miles, eh, it's like, oh, it's horrible, man. Slap it on your back all the time, mm. Yeah, I've got like really cushiony seats in that, but it's not good enough, you it's know. It's suspension on the chair. Yeah. It's gone a bit big. Mm. See the fucking logs not work. Yeah, the magic log work. Guaranteed to turn the fish off. Yeah. <laughs> but it gets like this though, like all the rats and that stop biting and you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's still. I've still got 40 minutes to the pond. Oh, yeah. Sound. Pollock and bass are site fish feeders too. Dee 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 dee. 
Uh, you can't do that here, Murphy Sea Fishing. If you reel in a little bit here, you end up snagged. It's all right on sand if you started popping the bait back a little bit, but definitely not here. Oh yeah, get loads of them down lighthouses, huh? Dee 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 dee. Ooh, afterburner. Sorry? I said, but I said my torch got an afterburn mode. <laughs> it's quite bright. Yeah, it's nice, nice then. That's about five minutes from that one. <laughs> that was a bit more of a rattly bite. Again, good luck. Come on. Be a red mullet. Just gobble it down. A nice snack there waiting for you. Bow, chicka, bow, 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 bow. NSA, how's it going, buddy? Good night, smash. See you tomorrow. See you later, John Turner. Thanks for joining, buddy. We're going to stick it out and see if we can get a red mullet. We hope. I'll tell you something I've noticed. I'm not catching a lot of whips. Last year, it was just whip central, eh? No, yeah, it didn't seem to be a lot of which yeah. Not even down lighter. I think I've had three in the last six trips. But last year it was every trip you just bam, 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 and you just you have to fish through them like. Bedwick fishing. Any red gurned off the shore? Uh, not off this spot. I've caught them uh, at a place called Doyle before. Just using little belly strips of mackerel. What's a whip? Is a tiny conger. Really small conger eel. What's the temperature? I don't know. It's quite warm tonight. Rachel Fear says good night, Snash. I'll oh, see you later, Rach. Thanks for joining. It's quite handy, it's up and leaves you the trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's easier, eh? <laughs> Um, guy called Lojo Fishing. Alright. He started off as a one man band like Turl. 
Yeah, yeah. And now he's got a whole production team with him. Yeah, yeah, a lot of like them do. Cameramen. And... Uh, like deer meat for dinner and all that, they all do, eh? Yeah, because he's getting like, um, he's getting like 300, 400,000 views. Nice. Video. Yeah, yeah. I'd be happy to get that, mate. <laughs> yeah. You'd be able to have Sam in your team, yeah? That's it. Yeah. Sam, Sam, the cameraman. That's it. I'd love to have Sam full time, mate, but it's not viable at the moment. Yeah. It's viable enough for you at the moment, for you. Yeah, well, it's the right for one, yeah. But, yeah, not for I two. bet you don't miss working. Mm. Don't get me wrong, though. Like, if I really need videos, it becomes work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you're pressured, eh? Yeah. You're but, pressured into making stuff. Right? Yeah, exactly. But well, like at the moment, I'm sound, so I just sort of relax and just have fun with it. But, mm. but like you said, it's better than doing the old building and that. Yeah, probably that. The only thing I miss, though, is, like, the banter on the building site. Because you're always on your own, eh? Yeah, that's it, constantly, yeah, so... I don't know. Yeah, I miss the banter, man. But then again, I think you like being on your own sometimes. Yeah, definitely. But it's always nice to be with someone. That's why it's good for you to be a sound sometimes. Yeah. It's good for you to be a Yeah, and you bounce off each other, eh? You have a bit of a laugh, like, joke yeah. around. Some of the best videos is you two just having a, having a bit of banter, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, mate. What I want to see is a video of you and Dan on the same boat, on your boat. Yeah, well, funny enough, we've, we've tried a few times to arrange it, and we both ended up doing other stuff, so... Like a wreck or something. Yeah. But he doesn't like congas, eh? Oh, yeah. He won't go near them. He's like me, then I hate them. Is it? I hate congas. Oh, I love it, mate. That's it as a challenge. Yeah, I wouldn't do what you do. Like, holding those big ones. Oh. It's funny, though, when they... When you get those big ones, mate, they snap at you. The thing is, have you ever been bitten? Yeah. Like, almost like a death roll? Nah, not that way. Like, I've been clamped on before. That's bad enough. Have they got some pressure? Yeah, I don't know. Even, even bass, I'm a bit, a bit wary sometimes because it's spiky. Is it? Yeah, I'm, I don't care about that stuff. It's more... Uh... Bit, I'm not, not scared of the... I'm not too fussed about the small fish. It's when they get big. You know? Yeah. Like pollock, eh? They get the uh, the little needle teeth. Yeah. Coddled bad for that. It's like that seven pound bass I bought. I was, like, I was a bit wary holding that because it's, the spikes on it was so big. Yeah, and the gill rakers, eh? Yeah. I've seen people go to hospital for gill rakers. Because um, they thrash around a lot, eh? Yeah. So just try and get it in the mouth and try and... Yeah, it's either that or you uh, go in the gills, eh? Yeah, I think I clunked it on the head before then. <laughs> but there's the cook's done as well. Why not, eh? I was keeping it anyway. Lovely fish, eh? Yes. I say I had half of my... Oh. One half of my brother had a fillet and he said it was lovely. Nice. There's no point keeping a fish, you're going to waste it. You might as well eat it. That's it, eh? Or just put it back. These baits are getting king. Crab. Oh, yeah. Get some big ones around here, eh? Sure, yeah. Anything decent get smashed by hooked on bass? Uh, nothing decent, we've had loads of small fish. In glorious fishing, anything decent yet? Yeah. 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 Come on, you fish. 
Guarantee you'll be plagued by pelt. I've caught one pelt so far, Dan. I've been plagued by Cooch's Breen. Come on, give me something to cook. Live in the breeze. <laughs> yeah, send me a picture, Gunner. I'd be interested to see that, mate. 80, 80 odd centimetres, that's a massive bass. That's a double figure, isn't it? You're close to it, for sure. Right, Chris, we've had loads of cooches bream, we've had one bass, a few brass and a pelt, I believe. I'm surprised we haven't had a black bream though. There's been loads of those about as well. 15 pound five ounces, that's a monster. It's a lovely bass. Yeah, I thought, I thought I'd be a double. Yeah, for sure. Where's the tide at? We're close to high tide now. I think we've got about 25 minutes. Are you going hungry tonight? I hope not. <laughs> if not, I've got some nice tuna pasta at home and I'll eat that. Shout out to Bobby in the Caribbean, baby. Thanks for joining, Bobby. What kind of lamp do you use? Uh, just a cheapie. It's just a cheap bright one. There's no name on it, so I'm not really sure what the brand is. Which do you prefer, multiplier or fixed ball? Uh, I'm not that fussed, to be honest. I'm happy with either. Carp rod. Oh, nice. Gone. I bet that went like a stink, mate. Let's get it on a carp rod. Bet you were buzzing when you landed that. Cheers, Austin. I appreciate it, mate. Shout out the USA, baby. All right, Valerie, Valerie Owen, thanks for joining. Come on. We got 727 likes in this live. That's crazy. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. That's the most, lives, uh, that's the most likes we've had for a little while now. On a live, anyway. I haven't liked it yet. Sorry? I haven't liked it yet. Oh, slacking. <laughs> <All right. laughs> do, 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 do. Running all around the place. Oh, I bet, Connor. I bet you were loving it, though. Do, 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 do. Shout out Hound Shark Fishing. I'm sorry if I'm missing any comments, guys. I'm not jealous, Connor. <laughs> oh, David McEwen. <laughs> yeah, me neither, David. <laughs> wink, wink. Broke my phone, so typing is a nightmare. Hello to everyone. All right, Timothy Johnson. Sorry, sorry your phone's buggered, mate. The fishing slowed down a little bit, but I'm hoping a sneaky red mullet comes in. Uh, yeah, I've heard about the blue shark bite, yeah. 
They said it was the only one recorded in, in so long, but it's not true. There's actually been other uh, people bitten as well. I am David, definitely drooling over one mate. <laughs> if I catch one that's in, I'm, I'm eating it. Cheers Darren, everyone's good thanks mate. pound Trevelli. Oh, nice. Those Trevelli look like they were fight, that's for sure. What's the best way to dispatch a mullet? Get a screwdriver, stab it in the brain and then cut the gills. Or like Ryan said, just bang it on the head. Really hard, because they've got a hard plate on their head, the mullet. How often... How often you eat your own catches during the week smash? Depends how much I catch. If I catch every day, then I'll eat, I'll eat fish every day. But some, it don't always work like that. <laughs> All right, Brian, thanks for joining. Shark tracker are coming over next year. The great whites could be in the waters. Yes, I've heard about that SL. They're coming over to do a study on the Great Whites, see if they're over here, eh? Wouldn't be surprised. Normally, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the amount of seals that are in the UK and that, eh? It's like, they've got to pass through at least. And the waters are warmer now, eh? Yeah, well. the waters are no different to Africa and that, eh? So, yeah, it is what it is. There's no reason why. The food source is very ready around. Yeah, that's it. And they can regulate their temperature as well, eh? Mm. So, it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit colder. I'm still going, mate. Have you not noticed how slim Jay is? He doesn't catch much to eat. Now, I'm a poor old sod who needs to catch his meals. Please feel sorry for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll go home later and eat a nice 300 gram steak. <laughs> I've enjoyed tonight. Just catching a few fish, isn't it? That's all it's about. No idea. Vodka on the gills kills them instantly. That'd be a waste of vodka, though. Vodka's quite expensive. Drink it. Sorry for asking, but what's the time your end? The time what? is. 10.39. 20 minutes till high tide. 20 minutes till high tide. Uh, Bobby, don't, don't, don't apologise for asking questions, buddy. You can ask, ask whatever you like. The bites have definitely slowed down. Uh, I haven't had a bite for a good 20 minutes now. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, same, that's nice. Left-hand rod. Oh, yeah, right, is it? Little vibration. Crabs. Good thing. Maybe. What's the best fight you've had from any fish? Probably tope. Tope go like hell, eh? When you get a good one, like if you catch a 30 pound tope, it gives you a good fight. Come on, fishies. I'm feeling a rebate. Put weight on that. Yeah. 
probably like a cooch was hanging off it. My big sole or a four pound place, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> it's called a place, a place weed fish. Yeah, it's a red mullet. It'd be, it'd be a big red mullet, mate. Eh? Just to put a bend in this rod, mate, it's got to be decent. This is my conga rod, this one. Oh, yeah. so it's not designed for this, right? <laughs> it's overkill. Yeah, that's why a lot of the time I don't even realise they're on, you know? For this type of fish, I usually use my bass rod. That's the best one. Like, if I, if I can get away with it, I use spin rods a lot. Yeah. It's a weed fish. No? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a beast. Monster weed fish. You don't catch fish like that every day. That's pure skill. I think we've all caught one of those. Yeah, definitely. Many a time. Peter Chan, what have you caught so far, Matt? We've had lots of little fish. That's it. Full beans. Yeah. Don't know where that went, but there's a lot of line out. <laughs> Look at that. That's what you want. Yeah. I've always found fish, but fish are better, yeah? You're fine. Yeah. I always find just past that pier, just on the corner. I find the long cast, I end up catching stuff like doggies and pelt and little whips and stuff. Yeah, because there's an edge, there's like boulders here. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the boulders is sand. Yeah. I saw right. no toy. If you get on the sand, I reckon you'd be able to get a red mullet. Oh, for sure, man. The thing is, the reds will come in for mixed ground as well, so. Yeah. Hello. Who's this? <laughs> it's the thing with this spot, like if you don't get it really early, you got no chance. Yeah, I've got it early ish and then there's those people and they come down their cars and they turn around. <laughs> there's enough room for a few people but Oh yeah. The you thing just... is if you both got two rods, eh? It's like Tangle City. Yeah. Cross the road. Especially if someone's a bit not used to casting. I don't blame you not going in a lighthouse during the night. Yeah. I tell you what, during the day it's absolutely amazing. Oh, fine. Mm. It's the float. feathers, man. Feathers float. In the past, I've seen people get hooked in the ears, eh? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I've seen someone try to do a pendulum cast down there. Oh, no. And the weight went flying. Look at that. But, uh, you just don't need the pendulum cast in Guernsey. <laughs> I mean, I boot it, but I don't do pendulum. Yeah, yeah, we all like give it some beans sometimes, but a full-blown pendulum cast, you're just going to cast over the that's fish. More, that's more in the UK or when you're on those massive beaches, eh? Yeah, yeah. Where you need to get out to the fish. Like our beaches, eh? It's like a 30-yard cast, all you need, eh? Yeah. You don't need to be also, out. Also, I do the walk-back method when it's coming up. Oh, so yeah. I leave it out and just walk back. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite deep anyway. <laughs> But over here, you don't need to pass that far. <coughs> no. 20, 30 yards. Yeah. That's where the fish are, just beyond the first break of the, of the wave. That's it, eh? So the bass hole made me feel it. I've got hair in my eye. Um. I think that's it. Everyone's talking about sharks. We're back up to 400 in the live. That's cool. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> the fish are not playing ball at the moment. 
didn't stop playing. Yeah. Where is this? Guernsey Channel Islands. Oh, definitely a weed fish. Hardest fighting fish in the sea, hands down. A big old weed fish. Is Sam with you? No, Ryan Duckworth is. He's nice enough to pop down with a, a, a little bag of black lug. So we, otherwise, this would literally be last cast otherwise. I've got like two worms. Then we're onto the black lug. Raul, thanks for subscribing, buddy. What's that, mate? Silly question. I know we got blow log. We got black log. We do, but you need a 10 meter tide to even find one. Right. They're so far, like especially down here. That's the only place I've seen them. But it's got to be like stupidly low. Right. Otherwise, you just won't see them. It's not worth getting a bait pump. It must import it unless they go out. Oh yeah, 100%. They get it from the UK. Yeah. Is that the same the rag then? Sorry? The rag will import it? Or yeah, it's all from UK. Oh, right, yeah. We just, we just don't have enough people to dig it and the, the places to dig it, eh? And the vault, you know? Yeah. Have you seen Grand Isle now? Yeah. I've been down there the last five days and it's like a bomb site. The whole beach is dug now. I think I saw Dan the other day on yesterday's video and it looks like... There's craters everywhere. Right? Yeah, it's like someone's chucked a load of grenades at it. Where you want to go, isn't it? Sorry? Yeah. Only problem is you get kicked out unless you're at night time, eh? Yeah. I usually sneak in at night time. Good got it, eh? They're like mutant bags, isn't Oh, huge. Yeah. To be fair, like, they've caught me a few times. All they've done is, like, oh, you got to move on. Smashed, so all right. That's all right. I've got a pocket full of them. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I don't know what the reason is. But I don't really know. Do you get the same species as here? Uh, uh, I don't know what species you got there, Jamie. Love in the channel. Cheers, Anthony. I appreciate that. I've taken some of the UK. Yeah. Thought so, really. uh, we haven't seen any tuna yet. I know they're in Jersey, so um, it's... Right, Rod. Right. So it's not going to take long for them to come in. I've seen it on the camera. <laughs> this looks like a conga See what we got left on here. That's still rag. Nah, this is like there's a couple of little ragworm in here, but little tiny blow log. Oh, right. Not much in here at all though. Can't beat local blow log though, eh? Just for a bit of scent. James Lesbos doing all right in the old uh, Yeah, yeah, he's fishing flat out for him though, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he must be going out every night. Yeah. Eventually we'll get into him, but... That's the thing, there's so many around now, like, if you fish properly, you'll get him. 
I just can't be out to fish for them. No, no, man. Most of the spots are empty now. Like, there's always people there, so I can't really be bothered. Oh, I hate that. Bar flicked over. Oh, nice. oh that's my log where I've gone. <laughs> Onto the black lug. I was surprised when I went to mix how much, how expensive bait is now. Ridiculous, man. I went down there, I got a few like logs, two packets of squid, and some like wraps of bluey and something else. Just 45 quid. Yeah, crazy, mate. That's why I've started digging it and that, because I go almost, well, pretty much every day or twice a day. It's ridiculous, mate. Yeah. So I had something in the freezer if I wanted to go. Yeah. But last year alone, I spent two grand on bait. <sighs> Just last year alone. I want the next super low tide so I can go down here and get some razor and uh, some bait, uh, gator plants. Yeah, yeah. The best place on the island, here. Oh, yeah. There's loads down here. I'm thinking, on the squid, I'll probably get green. Oh, yeah. we will get the pictures as well. Because the squid will probably come back in November, so they'll match in the hatch for them. Yeah. If you get any mackerel, Smash. Yeah. Fuck me up. If you want some, is it? Yeah. Uh, yes, two. How? How? To feel it's happened. Damn, I did say you got power. Oh, yeah. He was right. You're right, they were big, eh? Whoa. Little pelt there, guys. Ah! Uh, Go back. They're not very good at going back, pal. Nice. Oh, is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, is it? Oh, no. Maybe not. They're terrible for it. Nope. That's why wreck fishing's all right, but with pollock and that, you've got to keep them all. You know what I mean? You just can't, you can't put anything back. Pop, mate. Yeah, pop, that's what I've been using for, is conga bait and pop bait, that's it. You tried. <laughs> I should have just kept it. That's weird that he didn't bring back in. It's a swim bladder, they've got really delicate swim bladders. Swim is too good. Come on, fishies. Should have used it for bait. Nah, it's not worth using a pout for bait here. I should have kept it though for a conga bait off the boat or something. Still She's too. floating. It's a floater. <laughs> Sorry? I can see it lowly. Yeah. Oh, He's okay. done. Something will eat him. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Come on, give me a big red. I'd love a big red bonnet. Slap it on the barbie. Probably got a better chance down the fucking harbour. <laughs> down at town. I've been down there. Me and Cal went down there yesterday. He's a nice lady. Yeah, yeah, I like Cal, mate. Sam. My brother watches uh, you and and he likes the cow as well. Oh yeah, Sam. He seems to be clued up, that cow. Yeah, he loves his lure fishing, eh? Yeah, he's, he likes his lure fishing. Yeah, he likes his lure fishing. Yeah. He's trying to go down. He's kicking a little bit. I might pick it off, I think. Yeah, it's not see I love it. Big bass. Big bass. Mm. Nothing goes to waste in the seat. Nope. So you can take a shit in the sea, mate. <laughs> you still get eaten, like. I was down there. 
uh, on the rock and I caught a bass. Four pound. I phoned my mate, I said I've got a bass for you to take home. Yeah, yeah. So, so come down and get it. Just about to leave there. Eh? Condor goes past. Didn't think nothing of it, eh? Yeah. Got washed off the rock. Oh, oh. I lost all my laws. Yeah, yeah. My rod went. Oh, no. And the bass floated away. It was a bugger, eh? I didn't think nothing of it. Yeah, Havlet's like that. I was like, whoa, I'm gone. Havlet's terrible for it. I think it's miles away, eh? It's quite far away, like I didn't think nothing of it. Yeah, yeah. Then all of a sudden, this wave came. It's come out of nowhere. The thing is, it's not a proper wave, eh? Yeah. It's just a, a it's body like a of surge. water. Yeah. Uh, my bass floated away. My lures, <laughs> my lures bag was gone. All my bloody ground. Huh. Easily done. Lucky he didn't knock himself out. Well, get knocked out. I've almost done that at night, yeah. Oh, it's easily done, mate. I was scared actually after that. Did it? Because I fell backwards and, and, and snapped my rod. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my head torch went flying. And I was really scared because I thought I was going to... If I hit my head out, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. The tide was coming up. That's always a worry about foraging by myself at night. I was not going to do that again on my own. Oh, no. It's horrible, mate. Yeah. So, luckily, there was another guy fishing down here. Or around here. So I could have shouted yeah. if I broke my leg. Yeah, yeah. No, it's always a worry for me, mate, that he's going out on the phone like Mrs. hates it. Here's what it is, I've got to go, eh? Yeah. I'd love to have people with me all the time, but I just can't. You don't do what you're going to do, eh? Mm. Uh, not, but not. be fair, though, like, if I go alone, I don't go to, like, the crazy spots. I go to the nicer, like, beach sort of yeah. stuff and go for flatties and that, so... I'm not stupid about it, you know? You know about the tide, so you know, Oh, that's it, eh? Right? And, and like the spots I go to, like all, like all of them, I've been to a hundred times before, so I know where the rocks are, I know where I'm treading, you know. So, but it doesn't matter how much time you've been somewhere, you can still get some stuff on. Thought your left hand rod was taking a dip. It tapped a minute ago, bro. My eight pound guilt. I should have bought some spider peeler with me. I've got a few, I've been getting them in the pots. Yeah. Big ones like this. And they're, the shell's just popping on them. Oh. I've been taking them out and freezing them down. That'd be good thing. Oh yeah. That's all good. Mm. Yeah, I suppose there's not been much action as well. Mm. Seems like as soon as that sun went down, eh? It just sort of died off a bit. I tried. Yeah. I don't know, on the tide trail it made change. Yeah. What's everyone's favourite bass bait? Mine would be verm. Verm is just, it's, it's a killer for any fish to be fair, but bass love it. It's just a bugger to dig. It's a bat breaker, eh? Live launch. Oh yeah. Free line. Oh yeah. That'll get them. Sand deals, mate. What a live mackerel. Little Joey, yeah? Joey mackerel. I was up on the point the other day with some Joey mackerel. Some sand deals trying for a, uh, a, uh, John Dory. Because they're four hours trying, like. <laughs> That's nothing. At the end of the day, if you don't try, you don't know, eh? Like, this is the time of year where they're going to be around. I've never seen one in real life. But no, I've only ever caught two. But one that was four pound seven, and one that was about two pound. That was like I don't know, twelve years ago. Yeah, <laughs> like years and years ago. Tuna fish. I'm waiting for him to turn up. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of sending me a, an international, eh? Is it? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm assigned to them now, eh? Oh, so they I, supply all my fishing tackle now. I've noticed now. you've been doing some cheeky plugs on the video. Yeah. Pen stuff. Yeah, all oh, this pen slammer's good. <laughs> that's what they sent me. The new pen slammer 4. They're, good. They're supposed to be good bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They send me all sorts of stuff. It's, re it's really good, man. Lovely company to work with. They just send you shit. Pen for the month. Yeah. Really nice. Right. Yeah, I've got new conga rods coming and all that. All for free. Yeah. Well, say that. It's a promotion, eh? 
Yeah, I suppose you've got to mention it. I, well, on the contract, I don't have to. But I will. Yeah. Just out of decency, eh? it's like an eye for an eye. Eh? Yeah. My old boss used to say, a fair exchange is no robbery. Mind I you. I love that. So Danny does it for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thing is, I, I, I use pen stuff anyway, so well, yeah, exactly. they would have got the they would have got the promotion. And the mixed fishing supply is the biggest mate there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. no, good, mate. But I noticed that they don't do dial much, you know. Uh, mixed fishing. Yeah, like a lot of people are going off dial a lot, eh? That's all I use. Though. The rods are brilliant. Rod I love the rods, mate. Both for those dial The reels are good. Yeah, I've, I've never got, used the reels. I've much. got the, the black gold, so they're really nice. Oh, right. All like aluminium. Good morning from Australia. How's it going, Sandy? Thanks for joining. Gone a bit dead, eh? Dead jib. Yeah. I'm probably going to give it another half an hour, guys, see what we can get, and then I'll probably pack up. I'm hoping for a sneaky red mullet, but ah, you just never know, are we? Really enjoyed this live though, it's been awesome. We've nearly got 800 likes in this live, that's crazy. Sing to pass the time, you don't want me to sing. You'll have no eardrums left. Someone was laughing at Rusi the other day. I come in, eh? Music blaring, singing my head off like, nee! <laughs> <laughs> they can hear me coming round the corner at Roost, like where the pier heads is around there. Oh, it's the stitches, man. Yeah, you can see him, he's like <laughs> waving to me like, you fucking shonker, he goes like. <laughs> Have you ever searched this uh, on Google? No. At all? Nah. No? Oh, that stuff, boy. Yeah. I think I've, I've searched like Smash Fishing one. Oh yeah. On Google. And it says like YouTube. It says estimated in. Oh it will do, yeah. Um, <laughs> someone said that to me a while back. They were like And you they're like estimating you at like fucking half a million quid. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, yeah. If I had half a million quid, mate, I'd have a car by now. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's one lad on TikTok that does quite well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Luke. Oh, Luke Clever, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got. He, he doesn't. Be. He doesn't get the views anymore, though, eh? No, but he was like quarter of a million revenue. Yeah, yeah. Like you. Yeah, but now it's like he doesn't get the views anymore. Eh? The thing with TikTok, it pops off, but then yeah. they die out. It's not like YouTube where you can hold them for a while. Yeah. You, know? you don't really do TikTok. Do you? I've got twenty-five thousand followers. Love it. Yeah. I've got a couple of videos with quite a few million views. We've got one with 8.3. got one with about 3.4. Oh, you just need one video to go viral. Yeah, well, that's, that's what happened. Because I put this random video up, and then it took off out of nowhere. I got 8.3 million views, and I had 25,000 <laughs> followers. I was like, all oh, right, down. That was fluky. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I looked up your best your most popular video on YouTube and it's still that one, that urban forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1.2 million? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah. That was a good owner. Yeah, definitely. That's a very good owner. Do, 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 do. Oh, 800 likes. You got there quick, guys. Thanks for that. Foraging video is still the best. That's fair play. Everyone's got their opinions. I prefer foraging, I must admit. I love my foraging. But um, I love my fishing as well, though, you know? All right, Taras Khan. Nice to see you in here, buddy. I think what I should do in the future, before the end of the year, go to um, Alderney. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. That's a topo for sure. Yeah. Love great fishing, yeah, I'd love to do that. That'd be crazy. Right, Cindy, how's it going? Seeing some new faces in the live? We've caught loads of fish, but nothing big yet. Forager makes you unique. Ah, fair play. 
There's not many people that are catching stuff in a shrimp net like I do, I must admit. But at the end of the day, I put a lot of time in to find them. This master's loves a free meal. <laughs> I love it. You gotta get up early tomorrow, Smash. Probably. I've got a baby, a puppy. I'm always up, mate. I sleep about three hours. <laughs> you don't need no sleep. Yeah, I'm a vampire, mate. I love it. Put the old sunblock on in the daytime. <laughs> Come on, give us one more fish. The big one is coming. I love the enthusiasm, Taris. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's it, Jeff. If a sea creature bites me, he's going on the grill. <laughs> I can't remember, have you tried pelt? Yeah, pelt's nice. It's just like Pollock, really. It's probably got a better taste than Pollock though, because Pollock's quite bland, eh? Mm. I can't remember, but I think you have cooked long nose, eh? Yeah, long nose is delicious. I'll tell you what is really surprisingly good is a uh, horse mackerel. Yeah, you get a big horse mackerel, right, yeah. mate. It's bloody delicious. It's not as strong tasting as a mackerel, but it's the same sort of flesh. Yeah. Oh, mate, delicious. Making my mouth water. We need to catch fish, guys. I'm hungry. I'm starving here with my poor worm. What would be good? On the boat, if you caught a bonito. Oh, that'd be cool, mate. I'd, I'd cook, cook it straight out the gate. Be like a tuna. Yeah, for sure. So we, cause, uh, a few years ago, we caught the little ones, eh? Yeah. Little tiny ones, but Troy had a nice one, eh? He had a four pounder. Yeah. Down near the Hamwar. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Taras Khan. Cheers for that, buddy. You're an absolute diamond, mate. Very much appreciated. There was a tuna in the uh, in England, eh? In the, the little one. Yeah, the little one. Yeah, yeah. That's a, it was a false albacore. Yeah. Yeah. That's completely different to the normal tuna. Oh, right. If they come in, mate, that's a whole different ball game. Smaller. You allowed to catch them? Yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to be catching them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going shark fishing, mate. Catching But a uh, bonito, oh, like in places like uh, Florida and stuff, eh? they catch them on the little metal jigs and that, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. See the runs, yeah. mate, it's like, yeah, it's gone. Okay, I'd love to do that, mate. Fish on, I, I wish Gabriel, or Gabriel, sorry. I'm not very good at reading, I apologize. One video popped up the other day, I saw in there. They're literally hanging on as those groupers. Oh yeah, monster things. Yeah, off like the uh, the Goliath like, front. Yeah, like a pier, right? Yeah, they're and crazy, mate. Whole fish bait. Love my my. Those fish are insane colours. I'd love to catch a my my. Any of those sort of pelagic sort of species, I'd love to, mate. Swordfish, GTs, eh? Need to go on a smash trip international. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Go on holiday. Yeah, for sure. 808 likes in here. That's awesome, guys. Thank you very much for the support tonight. Just want to say that, like, you guys have been, you've been amazing. I wonder if um, TA Fishing Graham's will come over one day. Maybe. He pops in my lives now and again. I haven't seen any videos of him lately, actually. No, he's, he's doing fine. a lot of fresh water, eh? Yeah, he doesn't like sea fishing much anymore, does he? I think it's his age. He's yeah. getting on now. He's getting on to the bit of cane on his gear. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't blame him, man. You know what I mean? Oh, shout out to Anglo Saxon. What a diamond. Cheers for the fiver, mate. Hey. I'm up early tomorrow, mucker. I'm off to bed, thanks for the live stream. Uh, do more live stream, please. Good night, Smash. I'll do more live stream just for you, my friend. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, buddy. Come on, we gotta get one more fish. Oh, TA Fishing put a video up at 7.30 today. All we wanna see smash is fish. I would love to show you a fish, mate, but all I'm catching at the moment is seaweed. <laughs> Let's try a bait check. 
Yeah. He's always fishing. I have the club record for Benito. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that smash. <laughs> yeah, that was when we catch little ones. Me and Dan have both got the uh, smooth hand club record as well, eh? Smooth hand? He's got the starry, I've got the common smooth hand. Bait's gone. Bait's gone. Maybe that's why we're getting a bite. <laughs> we're not getting no bites because we got no bait. Logic. It's like putting no, ba no bait in pots. <laughs> yeah, literally, eh? And, it, and I'm thinking, no, oh, I haven't caught nothing. Why well, there's no bait in it? We ain't got many worms there, so I'm just going to fish until my worms are gone, guys. And then we'll be packing up. See if we can get a lucky fish. Definitely some crabs. I can feel the nicks on my line. Yeah. Oh, no. That bloody bar. It always does it. Oh, the bait's gone. <laughs> That's not right, well, we've just lost two more worms. <laughs> I hate that, mate. Bail on. Does my head in. Bloody good, those pens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone buy the pen fierce, they're great. <laughs> nice sticky rat log, these ones. I've been in my freezer for about a month. <laughs> you can tell. But stinky bait is a good bait. I can say. Untouched. Oh, that's not bad. Sorry? That's on the stand. Oh what? yeah. Yeah, I don't hoof it, I just give it a, a bump, you know? Yeah, it seems to be like just like you said, where those stones are, just past them. Yeah. That's where I'm casting, I'm trying to anyway, but that's where I seem to be getting them. Rods or wheels yeah, saves a lot of money, mate. Not like you really go through a lot of rods and wheels, really. Either. Nah, nah, not really. Well, I'm more break more eyes than anything, especially on the boat. Yeah. So like sometimes I'm not looking and I stand on them, but that's my own fault. Yeah, you can't beat ten. Nah. Definitely for robust. That's it, eh? Like, the only thing I don't like about the, the shore stuff is they're heavy. But like, yeah. if you feel how heavy that rod is, mate, it's not the rod, it's the reel. Yeah, but yeah. something's got to give, eh? That's it. I mean, when, you're, when you want lightweight and also you want durability, you're paying, like, a lot. You know, I think, like, Shimano, you know, all those Stellas and all that, they're like six, seven, you know, four, five. Quid. Yeah. They're light, but they're expensive. Yeah, above that, I wouldn't buy a real like that. Especially not how clumsy I am as well. A hundred quid's a maximum I spend on a real. Is it? I'll go a little bit more, but not a lot more. 150, something like that. But, um, it is what it is, eh? It's each Jerome. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's not the real that catches the fish, eh? No. I mean, I've caught. Um, I bought a five pound bass in a reel that was five quid. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like... It did break after I caught it, but... When I was a kid, like, and he used to go out with my uncle, he... Remember at Kobo Village, he used to sell, like, the little... The little rod sets. Yeah. The little pink ones yeah, and orange yeah. ones. A pink one of them with a little multiplier on. And that's when I caught my first ever bass in that. With my uncle on one of them. It's like... You don't need a lot. You don't need all this pen stuff, you know, or it's whatever. Nice have, it is nice to have it, because it lasts longer. The thing, yeah, the thing is, and... Sure, it's they're designed longer. for certain things, yeah. eh? Like, so, 
On that aspect, it's fair enough, eh? I mean, you use a big rod for your pongas. Yeah. I use bass rods for, for gilt heads and, mm. you know, bass fishing. I would love to have some uh, some 10 foot green rods for this sort of yeah. stuff instead of these. These are a bit heavy. So my brother used to use um, cork rods for mm. bass. They're perfect. Because they got the they got the soft tips, yeah. eh? He said the bite detection is really good on them. Yeah, I bet. That's what he, but he snapped it in half and he got it. But, uh -huh. He said, he swore by a cart one. He said, I said to him, he said, isn't that supposed to be fresh? Water? No, yeah. I think you can use them for anything. Yeah, the rods are rod, eh? For sure. I like that little one you use in the boat. That little whippy. Tiny short thing. Remember getting tackled from there. Yeah, it's true, Inglorious. The old Kobo village. He used to sell sand eels and everything. I remember getting my sandy off in there in the, in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. They used to do squid, eh, and the mackerel. They used to go over in that shop. They still do. It's a shame that they stopped the bait, though. Yeah, because you think the Kobo's there, eh? Yeah. And, like, to be fair, like, bait, like, mix sell out all the time, eh? Mm -hmm. So, there's obviously a demand. There's always Aqua Store. Yeah. Or not Aqua Store. Sorry? What's the place then? Uh, Keyside it used to be as well, eh? Keyside, yeah. They used to do it, yeah. Place down in uh, by the... You yeah. right, David Morgan? Place down by the Mug Rock Pond. Oh, um, Keyside? No. Key Price? No, Key no, Oh, Mug Rock Pond, Boat Yeah, that's the one. Uh, they got good, get confused. They got quite a good selection of stuff, yeah. Yeah, I find they, they've definitely backed off on it, though. There's not a lot there anymore. Expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. You can't beat Mix, though. They've got everything from a decent range up to little range, you mm. know what I mean? I mean, you think if you had a, a proper fishing shop down by the lighthouse? Yeah. Like proper You'd proper sell out, shop, mate. Yeah. If you had that food shop, the, the calf there, yeah. turn that into turn a bit of a tackle shop. Into a, into a fishing tackle shop. You'd make a bomb. A bait alone would be making a fortune. Yeah. yeah. Do you think how many people oh. go down there and forget their yeah. rod or whatever, eh? Oh, just oh, run out of bait. Oh, so I'll just go down there. Need some more hooks. Do, 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 do. What's this? Best adult bait? Right. Sorry? We've got best adult Oh, yeah, bait they always right. pop up now and again. Nude HD. You right, Justin, how's it going, buddy? Pawning. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, always should do that. Vacuum seal. Yeah. For £2.50. Do it. Free in a packet. Make a killing. Yeah. You can catch a hundred in a session. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, mate, you catch more than that if you really went for it. Yeah. My freezer's literally rimmed. You can't put anything else in it. I need a bigger one. Get a good six footer, like, that'd be nice. I don't really use my food No? It's for the conga trips. Yeah. If so I, I go really on the use boat. It for or nothing, really. No? My mackerel heads are great. I'll just chuck a whole goat out of my hands into this. Check that, do it. Yeah, like a conga session. We'll go through 25, 30 mackerel and then a conga session off the boat, eh? Yeah. I mean, you catch a big bass on it, but... Oh, for sure. I've had loads of big bass in the past on the mackerel. Chop a mackerel head on. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I do, is you just cut the mackerel in half and just throw it out and just wait. Like, that's all you got to do, eh? is just sit there and wait. Like, you're not going to catch any little ones. See, when I go out fishing, I think, do I go for small hooks and catch something? Or do I say, bugger it, I'll put the big 5-0s on. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the pen hook. Even a 5 -oh, man, we catch green on 5 -oh, eh? So, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if a fish is going to, if he really wants it, he's going to eat it. I mean, I try and do the best of both of them, the 3-0, but... You can't go wrong with the 3-0s, man. Like, or for any sort of species, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. 3 is what I need to go to. But you won't catch the blacks in the 3-0. Nah. What, the black bream? Oh, um, yeah. For yeah, sure. Oh, I can't catch them. You see the video with the gurnard and we're catching everything? We had 3-0s on then. Oh, did Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, you'd be surprised what you can hook on them, you know? Don't get me wrong, like, smaller hooks are better, but, yeah. you know, you do get them. For my go for Blackberry, I used to put like a 1.0 on them. Yeah, I, I use the one. It's the, the one. Aberdeen. Yeah. You want sweet? I'm all right, mate. I'm going to make a move soon. Yeah, well, I'll be packing up soon. I've got a week off, so I don't have to get up for work now. Oh, nice. You should have brought a rod down. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I went last night. I've only been twice this year. Yeah. Nah, I've got to do it. There's a lot of bass around, but small, though. Right? Yeah. I was just going to caught three creatures last night, and that was it. I just went down by the woodies there. Oh, yeah? All night, three creatures. No bigger than the ones we caught here. Everyone's the same. Loads of little stuff. I reckon September, September time big get them. Yeah. There's a few people getting six pounders in that at the moment, eh? Twelve pounds. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. Twelve pounders. Fish has stopped, eh? It's like a fucking black log. Mm. Not the best bait in the world. Not as good as that. Not as good as that, uh, rag. No. You can't beat local fresh rag, eh? Matching the hatch and all that. Sorry? Matching the hatch. That's it, eh? They like their rag. I'm going to end the live there, guys. Because uh, there's no point baiting up. We're not catching much. So I'm going to end the live there. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone. Everyone's killed this live. We've got like 824 likes. And quite a lot donated as well. So I just want to say a massive thank you. I really do appreciate the support. And uh, I'll try and go live again soon sometime for you guys. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.